one of the key things uh, around this topic is that it's addictive and, and uh, uh, whether you consider it a clinical addiction or not, the truth is that pornography works in the same way as many uh, addictive substances, uh, many hardcore drugs and things like that. It works in the pleasure center of our brain and every time we receive that stimulus, there is a release of chemicals that give us a high. But unlike other sort of addictions where sometimes you need to go out of yourself and out of your house to get the stimulus for that particular addiction. With pornography, the addictive substance is released naturally within the human body. And so you can just go to a thought or go to a laptop or a phone and a tablet and receive the stimulus that causes the release of that chemical that gives us the pleasure. And look, sadly, like many other addictions, it follows the course and the cycle of an addiction and, and this can lead to acting out. This can lead to um, things like desensitization. So the idea of diminishing returns. And when I talk to young people about this and I use these words and I explain what it is, I see their faces change because most young people in schools, they're experiencing desensitization. In other words, you see something that gives you pleasure, gives you a high, then after a while that amount of pleasure can wear off and you need a bigger stimulus to receive the same high. And so in, in, with pornography, what this means is people are going to more and more graphic porn, people are going to different porn, people are going to um, full-on depraved and even illegal pornography. They may not have thought they would ever get there, but this process of desensitization has led them to a place they never thought they'd be. And, and the same thing happens in real sexual intimacy and sexual relationships. So people can be, become so desensitized that they're unable to experience uh, sexual pleasure in the real world with their partner. They have to either think about pornography or perform acts that they've seen in pornography on their partner. And that is devastating. That can be devastating to someone's self-worth and it can be uh, really harmful to a relationship. So I say to people, um, don't think that what you're seeing now is not going to affect you. Uh, I was speaking with one clinical psychologist who said to me, Paul, when you're talking to students, say this, don't put on the credit card now what you can't pay for later. Don't put on the credit card now what you can't pay for later because that's the classic story I encounter. People who think what they're viewing as young people is not going to affect them later in life and, and yet it does. You can't escape it. It's filed away in your brain and it is neurochemically uh, seared to your memory and it affects you and neurologically it has actually potentially changed how uh, neurons and synapses are laid down in your brain. So it's, it's a massive thing that we're dealing with in society. 